What's up, YouTube? This is your boy King Pookie. So we're less, less, less than one week away to the Super Bowl. I'm not gonna watch the Super Bowl. I'm gonna take a knee, and I'm not gonna watch it because this in the New Orleans, the New Orleans Saints got shafted. They should have won that game, and now you got these um fans from. The New Orleans Saints that are suing the NFL because they think they got robbed and they want Roger Goodell to change the outcome of the game from from the last play from the helmet to helmet. They want them to replay it. Now, I don't know what it's not. He, they're not going to change the game. You know? I don't know what, where these fans are going to get. What are they going to get out of You're spending all your money. Um... And what? You're not even going to get anything out of it. You're going to just get a, 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 a t-shirt saying that the New Orleans Saints won the Super Bowl or something like that. You're getting nothing. Unless if you, what, you bet it on them and that's why you're losing all that money, you know, that New Orleans could have made. But, um, you guys are in the nowhere. And, I mean, I know there's people that are passionate about their football team, but... And sometimes it, these um, sports could take um, over your life. And, um, but, yeah. And then the Chiefs got robbed too because they, you know, definitely the ball um, went through the guy's hands and it grazed his fingers. And why didn't everybody know it? And they went, it took forever to get an income and should they shouldn't even overturn that you know there was no evidence you know i mean they would kept on looking at it on that for every angle and they took their sweet ass time so to get so then they got to overturn it to get everybody pissed and then then you know what then you let what ground can come back and they made Elman look good, you know, like, they didn't even, I mean, I don't think Gronk was in, the, played in the whole game, you know, until the very end. And supposedly he came was so good. You got, where was he when, when the Dolphins beat you, you know? Oh, supposedly, now, we're in the playoffs now, you get go so good. You know why? Because Tom Brady makes you money, Roger Goodall. And that one money makes the world go round and round. And you know what? That's the only reason why the Patriots are in there. Because they're making NFL money. The money. Money. What? I hope, I'm hoping this is the last time I'm ever going to see Tom Brady in the Super Bowl. I, hear, I know when you get it old, man. You're 40 years old. And you're not getting any younger. And you're just gonna be like Jim McMahon, McMahon. You know, you didn't be like a vegetable. But all these hits and those concussions is gonna come and haunt you when you get old. You're gonna be in the, in the hospital, sitting in there, you know, in the hospital. And now, what? You're gonna be suing the NFL because you're getting all these injuries and you get all these bills. You probably sp spend all your money. That's what I don't like about the NFL. They, these players, they should manage their own money, you know. This money is not going to last long, you know, um, if they don't save, you know, and they don't invest into other things, you know, put their money, save their money, um, and they just buy things, you know, buy expensive toys and that stuff, like new cars and everything. So... And then we could see that some sports celebrities they go broke when their see when their career is over and they go broke because they spend all that money. So and um but yeah. I'm not gonna watch the Super Bowl at all. You know, if I was gonna watch it it's because just because of the Super Bowl ads, which I probably could watch them on YouTube, you know. And I really don't care. 
And I'm, I'm not even wasting my time watching this game. Because, I, I mean, I, I hope to God at least the Rams win. I don't know if they're going to have a chance, I mean, you know, to win. They're probably going to, the Patriots are going to win the Super Bowl. I bet you any money. And uh, I'll probably, hopefully this is the last time we ever see Tom Brady winning it. And because we need somebody else new. And you know what? Our quarterback, it's time to take the torch. Man, we're going to take the torch. Mr. Biscuit made it to the Pro Bowl in his second season in the NFL. And you know what? He only played 13 games in college in North Carolina. And so, but um, yeah, you just, from now, you know, we're gonna get better next year, even better. Hopefully, we'll get a new kicker. And yeah, that was a bad. I mean, that how that game ended with the Eagles game with that kick. You know, he won it. And no, Cody Parkey is not gonna come back. He's not gonna come back. We're gonna draft somebody, or one of these is gonna have competition. But he's definitely gonna gonna come back to um, be the kicker next year. So yeah, I know I saw that uh, the Chuck Pagan news conference today, and I'm very very excited for next year. I can't wait until next season in 2019 season. So this is King Fuki, um, and I hope you, you guys. Don't watch the Super Bowl, and and then I'll see you in the next video. Like my videos, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.